Okay, this is the manual way. Kids are gonna get tired of that. Let's automate it. Okay, so we have the water basin. That's where we put all the water in. The top of the sink and the faucet with the manual pump. So as you push the plunger down, the water gets sucked up and out it goes. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're going to um, remove the manual part and make it automatic with our little bits. So what we're gonna do is we're going to remove this hole, the manual pump part. We're gonna cut this tube here because it's glued on there and then replace that with an um, electric pump. Okay, so after you've cut it, you're gonna have a pump like this. This is a uh, brushless DC pump. It says voltage DC 12, but um, we don't want it at full blast. We just want it to, to be able to move water. And the five volts provided by little bits does just that. So this front part here is the intake. Uh, this is the, the outlet exhaust. And we'll put those and it actually fits in snugly. And uh, then we'll wire it up and test it out. Okay, I've attached the pump. I'm gonna show you in a second. There's the wires from the pump. I ran it through that existing slit. And you can see, there it is. It's attached and it fits snugly. All right, so the next step would be to um, pick which bits that we're gonna to use to control it and uh, provide some power. Okay, now that I've got water in there, let's you see which bit we're gonna to use to power the pump. We're gonna use the proto bit. So you'll see here, this is the ground signal, and then this is be the positive, VCC. So this allows us to plug in the positive and the ground here. We're gonna plug it into the signal rather than the VCC or the positive so that um, we can control when, uh, when it's on and when it's off with other bits. Okay, so I'm gonna wire this up and then we'll use some bits to uh, test it out. Okay, so you see it's wired up, All right? It's wired up like so. Uh, and if I took power and plugged it in, that works, but we want to control it. So we'll take it apart and put in other bits. So we can put in, for example, we can just control it with a slide switch. Okay, so only when we want it on will it go on. There you go. Building upon our earlier experiment, check this out. Kids are going to love this.